Hello and welcome to a Sony Vegas tutorial where I will be showing you how to resize or move an image anywhere over your video. So first, drag your image onto another layer. There is our image. Now there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the first way, which might be easier for some people, but it has a downside and I'll show you. So first I want to show you, I have two images here, one here and one here. Now I'm going to click this track motion. And so you see our image here. If we move it, we can move it anywhere on the screen. Super easy, right? And then to uh, change the size, you just grab the corner and you resize it. So you can have this literally anywhere on the screen. So that seems pretty easy, right? But then if we look at our other image that's on the same layer, we'll see that it is also moved and resized. So only do this if you want to do the exact same um, resizing and movement on this entire layer. Either that, or you could always create another layer by dragging your picture above, like up the top here. So we have another layer. That way, um, like this track won't affect this track when you apply motion tracking. For me personally, that's way too hard for me to remember. So I'm going to show you my way of doing this. So we're going to start by dragging this photo in again. And we want to find this event pan slash crop button. Click that. You'll notice that there's a little box around the image. Also notice that it is not the same, this box is not the same shape or size is um, my video. So if you move it like side to side, this looks pretty normal, right? But if you move it up and down, you'll notice it like it crops the image weirdly. And that's because it's outside of the boundaries of this box. So and if you just want to move the image to like the bottom or the top of here, you're going to want to change the size of the box. So zoom out using your mouse wheel or whatever else you use. You're going to want to grab it and just resize it to the video size and then drag it like this. Now uh, if you do this and you realize that um, you're still having issues like you drag it and it hits a certain point and starts cropping, just expand it more until you don't have that problem anymore. Now let's say I want to resize this and make it bigger. In order to do that we need to make the box smaller because this box is essentially a kind of a frame similar to this I don't know how else to explain that um, and you just kind of zoom in you might get some weird cropping this way too uh, just play with the aspect ratio of the box um, like if you're getting cropping like here at the bottom just you can fix that by expanding the box a little bit it doesn't look entirely perfect um, now let's say I want to make it really small and put it in the left bottom corner. You're going to want to make the box bigger. And then drag it to the bottom corner. Now it uh, there's a chance it might not get all the way to the bottom, similar to our other cropping issue. Uh, just expand the box again. You just want to keep playing with it until it fits just right. It's a little bit cumbersome, but if you don't want to have to deal with your motion tracking affecting this entire layer, it's, it's a decent option if you've got the patience for it. So, I hope that helped. Have a good day, night, morning, whatever. Bye-bye.